Hey guys, Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project. And today's Bedini Motor experiment. I've got an idea. I had done this years ago, but I want to show you what I'm up to. Okay, right now I've got the volt and amp meter going on. The output of the Bedini motor is going to the big two, uh, 116 amp, amp hour, or is it two? 216 amp hour golf cart batteries under the table here. So we're pulling an average of one watt on the watt meter. It averages about a watt, one to 1.2 watts, okay? It goes down to 0.5 and goes up to 1.5. So let's say a watt of power coming in, okay? Now, back in the day, I used to run four or five batteries on this, charging batteries at the same time on this thing, but I never had an input meter, so I never knew what I was taking in. The golf cart batteries are sitting just under 12 and a half volts right now. I've got that little meter here on the golf cart batteries. Now what I've done is strip the wires. These are two dead batteries, and let me show you. Let's see if I can get this to show up in the uh, camera. Can you see that okay? I'm going to try to turn this angle so you can see it. Well, there. Angle it some better. I'm going to have you concentrate on this area here so you can see what's going on. Okay? I'm trying to do this live so you can see with me what happens as I do the experiment. Okay? there. Now, that's just, I don't know why, this, this meter picks up all kinds of whatever in the air. Alright, so this battery is sitting, these are um, uh, battery backup systems for computer. Oh, come on, get a cell, let me go here. This battery is currently at 0.74 and dropping when I put a load from the, from the meter. And this battery is sitting at 0.732, okay? Really bad, 0.7 volts, all right? Now, I have the crazy idea of taking a Bedini motor. I've got a ground. Uh, first, let's twist these together, all right? And let's twist these together. Now, they should show the same voltage. Just make sure we don't uh, have a problem here later. All right, these two batteries were twins out of a uh, backup system, computer UPS backup system. So now we're sitting here. We're going to measure them together at 0.78 volts, whatever. Okay. Now I've got the positive already hooked up. And then I decided, oh yeah, I better grab, let me run this under this other wire so there's no stress in the wires. The positive output of the Bedini motor, coming off the collector, I have another diode. Nothing different on this circuit. There's nothing at all changed, added, or modified on this entire system except for coming off here is another diode for running a different, uh, a secondary battery primary diode goes to this set of uh, jumpers terminals here all right so I can always connect different batteries here as needed which by the way I've never to this day hooked up I've always used this for um, desulfating batteries and nothing else I've never really ran experiments much with it so I did at one point when I first made it have five batteries connected all off the same collector just using a diode to separate them that's it the only difference. Now I've got the ground wire connected to the output ground. I've got the positive wire connected to the diode coming off the collector. So there's a diode going to the big batteries and there's a diode going to go to these batteries. And that's, that's how it's going to work here. So I'm going to connect the voltmeter onto here. Slip it into the alligator clip so we got a connection. Okay. And the negative, I'm going to connect up here, slip that in there. Now when I connect it, the voltage is going to start to go up on those batteries. Six volts and rising. Now the current, let me take the camera off the tripod. 
the input current hasn't changed. We're still going down to 0.6, 1.4, 1.2. It's really hard because it's pulsed. So we're looking at really to average it out, it's really hard. It looks like one watt in the bottom right corner of the meter. It looks like it's averaging one watt. The current coming out of the battery running the device has not changed at all. All right, no change. There's no increase in current powering the device. But now we're charging these batteries down here, okay? And at the same time, we're charging these two batteries right here. Now, later I can add more diodes to this system and keep on going. And that's going to keep on going right on up. Actually, I should probably pop those caps off, these lids off these batteries, and check the water levels inside. But I wanted to demonstrate this, uh, the ability of this to um, charge multiple batteries at one time. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to check the levels in these, and then we'll put them back on the system. But you can see that you can add more batteries to the output side without increasing the current going in. So we'll be back in a little bit here once I fill them up. Hey guys, all right, I've got the batteries filled up. They took a lot of water. And if you want to see how to fill up and, um, and top off sealed, non-spillable lead acid batteries, I'll put the link to the video, um, depending on which fatty video comes first. I'll uh, refer you over to that. If not, watch for the next video after this. Either it'll be before or after this one. So just check, a, take a look. But um, I filled these all with distilled water. I took off the tops, I took off the rubber seals, I filled them with distilled water. Took a lot of water. Check out that video and see how that's done. Um, these were bone dry. So I'm happy I did decide to go ahead and do that before putting back on the Bedini motor and uh, charging them up. Uh, this is a meter I got from Chartney, thank you very much already in service. Uh, Chartney on YouTube, he does solar power and electronics as well. Gave me this meter. And right now we're sitting at just over 5. So we went up from 0.67 volts up to 5 and in, in increasing. Now it's going to take time. The Bedini motor has to do its job. And it's going to take a lot of time to restore those batteries. But, you know, it just sits there and works. I go and do my daily work. I only come out here a few minutes each day and uh, and check things out. So it's not costing me anything to do this. Uh, again, the power being used is no higher with adding batteries. Especially since I've got 216 amp hour batteries down here. When I put these tiny little guys in there, I didn't even really pay any attention to that. But funny thing I've noticed, I can continue adding diodes on the output of this, and I can continue adding batteries and charging multiple batteries off one set of coils all at the same time. And I may end up trying that in the next days here, but it's getting a little cluttered on my desk, so uh, I've got to start getting more space set up for that. Also, this Padini motor is awkward because I've got the wooden box on it. I'm happy I've had it through the years because it has saved it from harm and from banging around a lot. But, uh, it makes it awkward to do any modifications on it and experiments. So, this is my good old battery desulfator. And when we build the next Padini um, on video, then I'll start doing some serious experiments on that one. Alright guys, there you go. Multiple batteries being charged on the same output with the same output power or the same input power.